How to etch a printed circuit board. Materials needed. Muriatic acid. Hydrogen peroxide. A plastic container. A clothes iron. A plastic foam paintbrush. Rubber gloves. A five gallon pail of water. A scotch bright pad. A circuit that's printed out on a laser printer, copper clad, lacquer thinner, a measuring device, and tin snips. Some safety glasses and a fan are also recommended. Um, I've already printed out um, my circuit using a laser printer on a magazine page. I've cut it to size to match the size of my circuit board. Next, I have a piece of single-sided copper clad. You do not want to open or touch this copper clad until after you uh, are, are fully ready to do this. The copper starts to oxidize the minute that it is open. Even as it is right now, it needs to be cleaned off so that way the the toner can adhere to this. I do this just by uh, taking a piece of scotch bright. You can't really use steel wool um, because it has uh, iron embedded in it. And I just go through and clean the copper off. Then you, when you, once you clean it off, you don't want to touch the copper. You want to hold it by the edges whenever possible. Um, there's two-sided copper. Um, I have a single-sided, so the other side is simply fiberglass. The other side has a laminate copper layer on it. With the copper layer facing up, I put it down on a, a hard surface. You take your circuit that you've already laid out and cut to the same size as the circuit board and get it aligned on the circuit board. This alignment step is much more critical when you have a double-sided board. Single-sided boards are really quite easy. My iron is preheated. It's good and hot. It does not have any water in it, and it's set to the hottest setting. From there, get your circuit um, Set. You want to press really hard to start off with. You want to start heating up the copper clad and you want to uh, uh, get everything to sort of melt to the circuit before you start moving it around. This will prevent the, the paper from sliding. So just put a amount of pressure on here. After you can tell that it is uh, started to adhere, you can start to move around. You can see it start to etch away here uh, where there's there's no copper left over here. Um, and these areas over here there's still there's still copper. At any time you can take it out of here and you, you can see where I have it etched here. It's all clear in between these parts of the but there's still some copper left in these areas.
once you think you've got it all, it's best to leave it in there for maybe 15 or 20 seconds longer to ensure that uh, you don't have any shorts left in areas that should not uh, have copper. And it is all etched away. Okay, I think I have it now. So I'm going to leave it in here just a little bit longer. When I take it out of here, you just want to start to inspect the board to make sure that there's no uh, copper in areas there shouldn't be. There's some printing on the other side, so that makes it look like there could be some copper yet, but uh, there isn't. And uh, there's a couple spots over here um, where I just made some proto board spot where my uh, toner did not adhere well to the circuit board and you can see it um, I etched away the copper there so to use that air, this little area here for proto board is uh, will not be acceptable so you just will not, will not use that. From here you take the board and put it into um, your, your bucket and uh, make sure to rinse it off really well. Um, leave it in here a couple minutes. Uh, this will make sure that you get all the acid off of here and it does not continue to etch after you have removed it from the, the acid. A little bit of lacquer thinner, it doesn't need to be as much. Um, very much at all, and uh, you just uh, wipe the toner off. Um, there you have a cleaned out circuit board.